so we came to Kansas um, this afternoon, got here about 3 o'clock, and as you can see it's hot, it's like 90 degrees out here, but uh, we've had some birds answering us, we're just sitting in the shooting house down here in the bottom, and we're hunting with Cody Peeper, there's birds got one right now, um, these birds like to, to stage down in this before they go up the roof, so we're hoping that we can get one in, all we, all we brought with us is a reaper and a uh, shotgun, so if I can get one kill, then Austin gets one killed. We're gonna go to Nebraska in the morning, try to kill one there too. We'll see what happens, but um, we're just sitting out, hanging out, waiting, uh, find out which direction they're gonna come from. We'll put the Reaper out there and try to sneak up on them, see what we can get done. Hopefully we get done here in Kansas. Not a bad little bird. Bad little reel. Got some short spurs, probably two year old. I guess. I don't know. Maybe he's 30. Who cares? He's dead. That's all that matters. He ain't getting no older. Alright, well, let's get him picked up and then we'll uh, get ready. They're just starting to come back in here. This is where they roost. So, they usually spend a lot of time here, but calling those three birds pretty easy. I thought they were going to do something amazing, but they straight up held up at. Oh, I had my shotgun ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. What he's done now. Yeah. They're pretty. That's for sure. A lot prettier than our easterns. It's fun to come chase them, but they're a little smaller than our eastern. Let's get him tagged and then we'll get back here. Get them. Well, uh, we just came to a new farm after two failed attempts at uh, trying to fan a bird. Uh, this is a spot we haven't been to yet, and uh, just got here. We're gonna try to strike up a bird and just see uh, where they are. I mean, we don't even really know the terrain too well, so we're just gonna try to figure out where they're at. Go chase him. He's dead. He's in that tree. Right. Like we had a perfect runway for these birds to come down. What do they do? They run all the way around us. And then literally two different times he was within five feet of me trying to come around this cedar to go to that decoy. And I could never move. I couldn't do anything. I was just sitting there. Finally, he went out and strutted. I think he was like probably 35, 40 yards. Austin shot him, thought he missed him. But then he flew up in a tree right, like literally 10 yards behind where he shot him and the bird uh, fell out of the tree and I just saw Austin tackle him. So, <laughs> what a crazy hunt, good God. Pretty good ones. Oh, yeah. That was the craziest calling hunt I think I've had in a long time. That was just the craziest hunt I've had in a long time. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they were freaking right here. Two different times. Farmers think about harvest as maximizing their yields. As someone who invests in whitetails year round, I measure my gains in inches. I feed my deer only the best whole grain blends by big time. 
fortified with Whitetail Institute's 30 odd six minerals and Big Time's proprietary BT90 micronutrients. Big Time has more high quality nutrition with no fillers, byproducts, or artificial ingredients. Big Time, attract, develop, grow.